First of all, I'm going to thank the father of the house for giving me the opportunity to be in front of you. Because this is a huge job. Because you know, when a father in the house gives you a task to do, it's because they trust you. And if they give you something to do in the house, or whenever your parents are sending you somewhere, some of us we do think that I, they always send me they always send me but I remember one day my mom said when a parent send you always it's only you which means they love you because they want to bless you all the time whenever they send you there is a blessing which comes to you Hallelujah. that's when I understood when they sent me to do something I don't do it just because to please whoever is sending me but I do it because I want to gain something which is a blessing from them hallelujah I'm not going to talk too much about that because that's not my topic. Because they have already talked about obedience. Hallelujah. So, with everything which you've been hearing here, today I'm going to come with this other subtopic which is about discipline. Discipline. You may ask yourself, what is discipline? And how does the word discipline means to you? Or how does the world Describe this word discipline. Na dunia inasema nini juu ya heshima? Au inasema ni nini? In Hebrews, mkitabu cha Hebrania, no. In Hebrews, katika lugha ya Kiebrania, oh, mki mlugha ya Kiebrania, they use it, they use discipline as a word of correcting someone, to instruct someone. Wanatumikisha ni dhamu kwa ajili ya kuongoza mtu au kumwadibisha mtu. Hallelujah. Amen. And some other people they use discipline as a word of punishment. Na wengine watu wanatumikisha ni dhamu juu ya kumhukumu mtu. But me today, lakini mimi leo, I'm here to challenge you. Maybe you have heard about this before. Niko hapa kwa ku, kwa ku, ku challenge, kwa kukupatia changamoto. I'm here to boost your mind. I'm not going to talk about discipline in the way of punishment. I'm But I'm going to use this word discipline to tell you that this is a word which defines how someone can learn how to live their life. Because if I tell you this word in a, in a punishment way, some of you, you might flee this place. Hallelujah. Let's not talk too much about that. So this word discipline if I say to talk in a way where it's a way someone can learn their life I can say to it's a word you can use or discipline is to do something without thinking of your suddenly thing which is going to happen kufanya kitu yenye hawezi kujifikiria nini yenye tafanyika hapo baadaye do something without thinking what you are gaining at the same place kufanya kitu bila kujifikiria nini yenye utapata or i can say you you live a 
life or you do something without thinking your immediate pleasure for the exchange of long term respect and not only in front of people but also in front of God hallelujah Amen. let's read the bible we're going to understand this first of all let's read in Romans chapter 8 Verse 13. Romans 8. 13. The Bible says, For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put the death uh, sorry, I'm going to start so that you can understand. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the misdeed of the body, you will live. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible Amen. is telling us. Let's kwa see what kufa. Bali kama mkifanyisha Bali Bali kama mkifanyisha matendo mkiafisha muki, matendo ya mwili kwa roho mtaishi Amen Hallelujah I want you to encourage me if you amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Cuz if you don't say amen it sounds like you are not together Kama usemi amina inaonesha kama tuko pamoja. When you say amen, I understand that you guys are following. Lakini ukisema amina, mimi naona kama vile uko unanifuata. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible here is telling us Biblia hapa inatuambia that if we live according to the flesh. Tukiishi sawa na mwili. If we live according to the flesh. Tukiishi kama sawa sawa na mwili. And this flesh means how we think. Na mwili inamaanisha jinsi tunajifikiria. It means how we are living this daily life. Which means if we, we live according to the way we are living the daily life. We want to die. Because if we think about how we live, you need food, you need this, you need to make your body look fresh. You understand? Ukijifikiria jua kuishi, unataka vyakula, ujipambe. So if you want to live because or if you want to live according to that. What are you gaining after? What are you doing for your future? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know a lot of people they think that living because of this body. They think that's the long life. And when they, they do their stuff and then their life goes wrong, they say, Oh, me, God has forsaken me. They say, Oh, they always teach us in church that the grace is there when you do things or when you don't do things, but the grace of God is there. Wanasema oh Mungu anasema neema iko pale ukifanya kitu wala ukifanyi neema iko pale. Listen to me. Nisikilize. My brother my sisters who are here. Kakaangu dadangu mwenyeko hapa. Without discipline yourself. Bila kunidhamu. Whatever you do in this life. Chochote kile unafanya ndani ya maisha haya. It's nothing. Ni bure. You are wasting your time. Unapoteza muda wako. You are wasting your time. Unapoteza muda wako. Do you understand me? Unanielewa? You might say oh me I'm a singer. Unaweza ukasema oh mimi ni mwimbaji. Yes you are a singer. Ndio uko mwimbaji. You singing. Tunakuonago naimba. But what is your discipline? Lakini nidhamu yako ni nini? And this is the most thing which is perishing a lot of people in this generation. Na hiki ndio kitu cha kinafanya watu wengi kuwa kupotea. People are misleaded because of lack of discipline. Watu wengi wako wanaenda mjia mbaya juu ya kukosa nidhamu. How to discipline themselves? Hawajui gisi ya kujipatia nidhamu wenyewe pe. Okay, yes, you are a singer. Ndio uko mwimbaji. Have you ever woke up at night? Ushawahi kuamka usiku? And start praying for your gift. Na unaanza kuombea gift yako. Have you ever 
wake up in the night and start writing songs down. But you always say, I'm a singer, I'm a singer. Why do you sing? And where do you get it from? What is your discipline? You have to get the discipline. Saying that I'm a singer. I need to get time to pray ya so that I can get the inspiration from God. What if I'm going to sing in front of people so that I can give glory back to God? But you, because you don't have discipline, you just come to sing because your, I don't know, your mom, your pastor told you, hey, you know, you have a good voice, you can sing. No. Unakuja kuimba kwa sababu pastor wako au mamako alikwambia uko na sauti nzuri. In this love doesn't work like that. Moyo maisha sio hivyo. Never. Haijawahi kuwa. Let me touch another side. Ngoja niseme fasi nyingine. You say yourself God called you, you are a pastor. Unasema Mungu alikuita uko pastor. Let's say God gave you a ministry to do. Mungu alikupatia ministry ya kufanya. But what is your discipline? Lakini nidhamu yako ni nini? Me have ever seen people I mean I have ever seen people Exactly you got my point I have seen people Where they are preaching tomorrow Or they are preaching this afternoon But they heard that there is somewhere there is a wedding Lakini wamenda fasi kwenye pako shere ya arusi They are like here yeah, I am going to go to the wedding And then after the wedding I am going to pass to the conference And I am going to preach what kind of preaching are you preaching? What is your discipline? Which time do you sit down and start praying and getting the inspiration from God? Let's talk as youth. As youth. How do you discipline your life? Your daily life. How do you discipline yourself? Listen to me, you will never get respect from people without discipline. You will never prosper without discipline. Okay, let's say for example, you open a shop. You have your own business, right? You have your own business. By your business, you wake up in the morning, and be like, ah, today I'm lazy. Nah, I'm going to go to the shop at 10. You go at 10, right? And then you are there. The customers are not coming for two hours. And then you are like, ah, man, it's boring today. What's a day? And you shut the shop. What kind of discipline? And you are waiting for your shop to go bigger. How? Tell me. How? There is no how. Is there a discipline? Because you need discipline. You need to put yourself in your mind. No matter how it happens like this. No matter the customers are coming. But I'm still going to open the shop I'm still going to open the shop Hallelujah Hallelujah I know we are youth We get friends We have friends All over Your friends can come to you Be like oh you know today there's a party Man today we are going clubbing and the surprise thing is God has gave, have gave you the grace you got the mouth for saying no but you can say no you're going to be like ah man I didn't want to go but man let's just go let's see how things going to go you are going there you are going there you are going there. There is a harvest coming. There is a harvest coming. No matter how the harvest comes. Harvest is a harvest. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter however where it comes. Harvest is a harvest. And one thing you should know. One thing you should know. Yes, you might have the grace of God. 
Unaweza kuwa na neema ya Mungu ndio. You have what you got. Uko na yenye uko nayo. But lakini without discipline. Bila nidhamu. Without discipline. Bila nidhamu. You are abusing the grace of God. Una awitendei haki neema ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. I repeat this. You okay. might have grace. Unaweza kuwa na neema. But lakini without discipline kama hauna nidhamu i repeat again without discipline kama hauna nidhamu na rudilia you are using the grace of god unachezea neema ya mungu because kwa sababu discipline nidhamu is the base ni msingi of this life we are living ya hii maisha tunaishi discipline yourself ujipatie nidhamu peke yako in whatever things you do kwa kila kitu cha unafanya discipline yourself Ujipatie nidhamu. Discipline yourself. Ujipatie nidhamu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read Galatians. Tusome kitabu cha Galatia. Galatians chapter 6 verse 8. Wa Galatia 6 mstari wa 8. Are you there? Yeah. Is everyone there? I don't want to talk what's in my mind, but I want to read the Bible and you have it as well. So let's read together so that we can understand. Sita ongelea akili yangu lakini nataka tusome ili tuelewe. The Bible says this. Mm. Galatians chapter 6 verse 4. Uh, Each verse one eight. Eight. verse 8. Yes. Yes. The Bible says whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit from the spirit we reap eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeye apandaye kwa mwili wake katika mwili wake atavuna uharibifu mm-hmm. bali yeye apandaye kwa roho katika roho atavuna uzima wa milele amen 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 this verse i verse it might look the same with what we read before ina inaweza kuwa inafanana na tulisoma mbele but it's a different verse lakini iko tofauti this one is different hii iko tofauti if it says If you so inasema ukipanda to please your flesh kwa kufurahisha mwili wako oh in flesh ndani ya mwili wako you will reap is it reap yes, yes. you will reap destruction utavuna destruction waribifu yes waribifu haleluya amen you will reap destruction utavuna waribifu that's right haleluya amen what are you sowing uko unapanda nini a man can sow through flesh binadamu anaweza kupanda juu ya mwili and a man can sow for spirit na mwanadamu anaweza kupanda juu ya roho hallelujah so whatever we sow chochote kile tunapanda that's the same thing we reap hicho hicho ndio tutavuna because the bible kwa sababu biblia guarantees us that there is a harvest coming inasema mavuno yanakuja we do kwa kila kitu cha tunafanya and if we do wrong things na tukifanya mabaya if we do things which it doesn't take us forward na tukifanya kitu vya tupatii gisia kwa na mbele this is because we do things without discipline ni kwa sababu tunafanya vitu bila nidhamu because just as i said before kama gisi nilisema mbele yes you are a singer But how do you expect you to sing and make someone be filled with the holy spirit if yourself you don't have holy spirit in you Unawezaje kumfanya unawezaje kuimba mfanye mtu ajisikie ile roho ya Mungu wakati we mwenyewe una roho ya Mungu ndani yako Because what we have in ourselves Kwa sababu ile yenye tuko nayo ndani yetu That's what we transmit to people Hallelujah Tunapatia watu nje What we have inside Yale yenye tuko nayo ndani yetu That's what we give to people Ndio yenye tunapatia I remember last time pastor said Mimi nakumbuka siku moja pastor alisema When you are filled with the Holy Spirit Wakati unajazwa na roho mtakatifu When you speak in front of people Wakati unaongea mbele ya watu the water maji the living water maji will flow from you and it will transmit to someone else and then the life got change na 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to change somebody? Change yourself first. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening to this? You want to change somebody? Change yourself first. Discipline yourself. How can you discipline someone if yourself you don't have this? Hallelujah. Amen. This side, hallelujah. 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 Amen. Can someone say discipline? discipline? I know you don't like it, but I say discipline. discipline. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm talking about discipline. I'm still there. I'm still there. Yes, you have friends. But what is your discipline with your friends? Is it that because you guys are friends? Is it because you guys talk too much? You can't have a break? Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, I know you have friends. But it doesn't mean those friends of yours will come anytime and be like, oh, let's go out. Let's go this. And you, are, okay, let's go, let's go. What no. kind of discipline do you have? How do you discipline your life yourself? The way you live yourself. Why can't you say this time it's time to go out with friends? And when we go out, we can't do this, we can do this. This time we can't go out because this is my time to meditate the word of God. But some of you, some of you, you have already put in the calendar the time to go live on TikTok. The time to go live on Instagram. You know, by six. That's when people will be doing nothing so I can go live I'll get more views. But what can you put in your mind and discipline yourself by saying at this time no one will call me. There's no kids at home. They are school. My mother is not here to call me all the time. But I can go in my room and read the Bible and meditate. Why? Why? As a singer. I'm talking about the singer too much. Because it's our generation. We all like to sing. To be in front of people and make people happy. Make people think that we can sing well. Make people know that we have good voices. But with your voices, what are you gaining from it? What are you gaining from it? And if you are gaining something, the little fame you have at least, what is your discipline? In whatever you are doing. Listen to me. You might be talented. You might be gifted. But without discipline. You are nothing. You are nothing. Because your talent will go in vain. Mm. Your gift will, will help nobody. But it's going to help yourself. And if it helps yourself, how do I call it? Distraction. Is it destruction? Destruction. Destruction. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. It's going to give you destruction. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why, as youth, as young people we are here kama vijana wenye tuko mahali hapa how do we discipline ourselves how do we guide ourselves in everything we do tunajiongoza namna gani mkila chetu tunafanya when we go out of the church wakati tunaenda nje ya kanisa what do we do out there tunafanya nini nje what is our discipline nidhamu yetu ni nini hallelujah amen hallelujah amen I know a lot of you can hate me all because maybe I talk to what you do. I don't care. 
Najua wengi wenu mtanichukia juu na wasema yenye mnakuwa mnafanya mimi sijali. Masengo I didn't say any name here. Lakini nashukuru Mungu sijasema jina la Mungu. I didn't say your name. Sikusema jina la. But one thing you have to put in your mind, I repeat. Lakini kitu kimoja utie ndani ya akili yako. Have discipline. Ukuwa na nidhamu. Have discipline. Kuwa na nidhamu. In everything you do. Kila kitu cha unafanya. Yes, God is there to help you. Ndio Mungu yuko pale kwa kukusaidia. But some other time. Lakini wakati mwingine disciplinary It's your only I mean responsibility hallelujah Kuwa na nidhamu ni juhudi yako It's your responsibility Ni juhudi yako God is not there to come and tell you oh you have to behave like this you have to behave like no Mungu haiko pale kwa kukwambia wewe uko na jikomporte hivi na vile You know how to behave already you know how to behave Unajua gisi ya kujikomporte wewe So it's up to you to do it now Ni wewe peke yako kufanya sasa Because if to be taught you've been taught since long time ago Kama kufunzwa ulishafunzwa But why can't you do now your responsibility Lakini kwa nini usifanyi yenye umefunzwa Then your responsibility in this is just your discipline na responsibility yako ni nidhamu. Hallelujah. Amen. You might say, oh, it's happening like this to me, it's happening to me. No, it's not. Unaweza ukasema vinafanyika kwangu, vinafanyika kwangu. Hapana, vifanyiki. You have to wake up. Unapashwa uamke. And see the value. Na uone thamani of what you have in yourself. Na kila kitu cha kiko ndani yako. You have to wake up and see the value of what God has put in you. Unapashwa uamke uone thamani ya kila cha Mungu alitia ndani yako. And you know how to lead it. Na ujue gisi ya kukiongoza. And you can't lead it well without discipline. I'm saying this. Na uwezi kukiongoza kama hauna nidhamu. And I'm going to repeat again you can't do it well without discipline. Na ninarudilia hauwezi kukiongoza kama hauna nidhamu. You can't lead it well. Hawezi kukiongoza vizuri. God has gave you this flesh. Mungu amesha kupatia mwili. But how do you discipline your flesh? Lakini unaipatia nidhamu gani? Is it when you just feel like you want to masturbate and then you do it? Ni kisi unajisikia kama unataka kujisaidia na unavifanya? Why don't you discipline yourself? Kwa nini usijipatie nidhamu? Eh? Why don't you discipline yourself? Kwa nini usijipatie nidhamu peke yako? Your flesh has to require this and you okay, I'll do it. Mwili wako unataka ufanye hivi na wewe unasema ndio nitafanya. No, we don't work like that. Hapana, tutembee hivyo. In this life it doesn't work like that. Mwaya maisha aitembee hivyo. Cuz if you keep doing it, kwa sababu kiendelea kuifanya, the destruction is there for you. Madhara iko hapo. Because that's what you saw. Kwa sababu hiyo ndio yenye ulipanda. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What you saw that's what you reap. Yenye unapanda ndio yenye utavuna. We've been talked here since, since we started the the conference tulikuwa tunafunzwa hapa tangu wakati tunaanza huo mkutano we talked about uh, obedience tuliongelea juu ya kutii how to change our mind gisi ya kubadilisha akili zetu and our brother i get told about the, the same changing our mind na kaka yetu akatuambia tena juu ya kubadilisha akili zetu the same zetu. change that's what we are talking about ile ile mabadiliko ndio tuko tunaongelea so from today kuanzia leo i ask you whoever is here my kuomba, brother my sister na ku, na kuomba wewe mwenye uko hapa kakaangu dadangu we need to get discipline tunapaswa kuwa na nidhamu we need to get discipline tunapaswa kuwa na nidhamu and this discipline that's what's gonna show to everyone that we are changed for real na hii nidhamu ndio yenye itaonesha kwa watu wote kama tumeshabadilishwa kweli that's what is gonna be our ideas to people that am changed hii nidhamu ndio itakuwa kitambulisho kwa watu kama tumebadilishwa because if you discipline yourself kwa sababu ukijipatia nidhamu peke yako you gonna change from your old ways utabadilisha njia zako za kale if you discipline yourself ukijipatia You're going to change how you speak to people. If you discipline yourself. You're going to change your inner person. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to change your inner person. Maybe some of you can understand what I mean by saying the inner person. What I'm trying to say is If you discipline yourself. You're going to change utabadilisha your consciousness akili yako the way you think mawazo yako what you do yenye unafanya what you, like what how can i say this what confirms what you want to do yenye nakuwa na confirm yenye unataka kufanya because listen to me 
You can think of doing something or you might feel your body need to do something. Unaweza kujifikiria kufanya kitu au mwili wako unaweza kushuruka. By your consciousness you agree be like yeah do it do it. Lakini mawazo yako utakwambia ndio fanya fanya. That's why we need to change our inner person. Ndio kwa maana tunapaswa kubadilisha mtu wa ndani. We need to change. We need to change. We need to change. Not just to change our bodies and what? Isikwi tu kubadilisha mwili wetu. Just as my brother said. Kama kisi kaka yetu alisema. Don't change. Just, just change your your dressings and whatever usibadilishi tu mango yako but change your mind badilisha akili yako change your inner person badilisha mtu wako wa ndani this yourself ujipatie nidhamu and then you're going to see how your life is going well utaona gisi maisha yako yataenda vizuri you're going to see how people will respect you utaona gisi watu watakupatia heshima and the glory is going to go back to god na gisi utaenda mbele ya mbele ya mungu hallelujah amen hallelujah amen this is the huge topic i'm telling you hii ni kishina kikubwa sana mimi nakwambia because as youth kwa sababu kama vijana we do a lot of things which needs to be disciplined tunafanya vitu vingi vya vinahitaji nidhamu hallelujah amen so i hope my pastor is going to give me another opportunity to continue one day na tarajia kama baba wangu atatupatia tena muda gisi ya kuendelea by saying this i'm asking for another opportunity na kwa kusema hivi niko naomba ingine opportunity Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So may God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Amen. Hey, may God touch your heart. Na Mungu aguse nafsi zenu. May God Amen. Really make your heart to do what you had here. Amen. Mungu afanye nafsi zenu kufanya yenye umesikia mali hapo. Because without God to empower you to do this. Kwa sababu kama sio Mungu kupatia nguvu ya kufanya hii. I assure you yourself you can't do it. Nakwambia ukweli peke yako hauwezi kufanya. But only Amen. the hand of God to touch you. Lakini ni mkono wa Mungu wenyewe peke kukuguza. And it's going to be your decision to allow God to touch you. Na itakuwa decision yako kumwapatia Mungu nafasi ya kuguse. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Asante sana na Mungu awabariki. You do not lie, you do not change. Kitu do doesn't exist. Oh. It can never ever exist.